disinfectant. Oh sh! Oh my god! God! Damn it! Hey guys, welcome back to the video. In this video, we're reacting to episode two of HBO Max's The Last of Us. I did review the first episode last week, but after the first episode review, I did put a poll up on the community tab of the channel. And I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see weekly reactions to the upcoming episodes or just a mid season and finale review. And you guys chose the weekly reactions. So here they are. I'm super excited to get into this week's episode of The Last of Us. And let me know what you think of the episode in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you're near in here and you enjoy all my movie and TV show reviews, reactions, and breakdowns, make sure to subscribe button to notification not to miss any time up a new video or go live both always get more time let's get right into it oh sir i don't know are they doing research on the virus i i haven't played the game at this point i played the game like where the last episode finished so I'm guessing they're exploring the virus now he's alive oh my god That's crazy. Damn. This is... <laughs> and now we have the banger intro. Dude, absolutely amazing theme and just intro and everything. Dude, I love it. There's not gonna be anything bad in here? Just you. Oh, funny. <laughs> you need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. Damn. Brutal. Jesus. Can I have a gun? Absolutely. No. <laughs> hey, Jesus, fine. Dude, I think they're gonna skip on that like water mission. I really wanted them to do that. That would have been so sick. Like they like walk over or like underneath a bunch of like like trench things and it's like a bunch of water. I don't know. I feel like the cinematography could have been really cool there. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Oh, there they are. <laughs> dude, this cinematography is amazing. Yeah. It, it looks so good. Like, it's not even funny. Like, this thing, it, uh, dude, this is crazy. You're a weird kid. You're a weird kid. Oh, shit. Ooh. Once again, dude, absolutely amazing set design. Like, this looks beautiful. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. Okay, okay. We have, how many minutes do we have left? We have 30, we have, we're 32 minutes in. We have like 20 minutes left. Let's go. I don't hear it. Who would you hear? Oh, is it, oh, clickers. Shit, this is so intense. <laughs> Dude, hearing like the muffled clicker in the back, clicker in the background is so good. The, the sound editing is perfect. Dude, that makeup is terrifying. Oh shit. I feel a jump scare. Holy shit. Oh my god. Dude, another amazing shot, holy. I keep saying this, but the cinematography is great. Like, I, I mean, I don't know how many times I can say it. Like, it's it's just, it's beautiful. Dude, they're all cooked, what the hell? She's infected. Oh shit. Oh my God. God damn it. This is real. It was just fucking real. Dude. Shit. 
Dude, they gotta go. They need to go. How many? All of them. <laughs> what are you doing? Making sure that they don't follow you. No! We're not leaving her! Get off me, you fucker! I'm not going with you! Damn, that was good. Okay, so that was episode two of The Last of Us. I really, really like that episode. I still think the first episode is better just because it was way longer and it felt like we got way more packed in there. But this episode, like the first, was definitely a very slow burn. And then at the end, you have just an absurdly emotional ending, which I wasn't expecting at all. Like I said in the first review for episode one of this show, I literally played up to the point where episode one ended. Well, technically I played a little bit after that because I played the mission in the game where it's like taking place in the water area and there's like the waterfall going down the broken building and then Joel has to fight off the, the soldiers on different levels. So I got to that level, but they actually didn't obviously have that level of the game in the show. And so I that's pretty much truthful. I got to the end of episode one and that's where I was. So like I said in last week's video, from, the, from there on out, I didn't know what was gonna happen. And in this video, I didn't know that Tess was gonna to get infected or anything like that and obviously i don't know if in the game she sacrifices herself but obviously she did it here and it was an absolutely amazing ending to her character i mean obviously she was just introduced in last in the last episode and so it's not that big of a character arc but i feel like what the show was able to do in such a small amount of time about just understanding her character her relationship to joel and also her relationship to ellie the little that we actually got of it i really just like the way that they connect it again i can't be the guy guy that tells you guys about comparisons between the game and the show but as someone who just loves tv and loves movies and loves all sorts of the stuff in the visual medium of movies and tv this show is amazing i mean it's done such an amazing job on all levels i mean obviously writing you take inspiration of your story from the game but additionally they make the cinematography also feel like a game but in the best ways possible uh, one of my biggest issues with mo with a movie like uncharted or sonic the hedgehog is like yeah they they, they feel like a movie 100 percent right but you don't get that game feel but here whether it's through the the visual lens or just the the way that events play out and they go from one place for a setting or to another setting every trans transition every little moment every dialogue piece something that would feel like a cinematic moment in the game or something that might feel like a playable moment in the game feels that way in this show so far and again as someone who hasn't played the game i still feel like i can feel those moments that you might be feeling when you're playing the game it's like okay whenever joel and ellie sat down while tess went up uh like to check on the to get to the other side of the room that moment it felt like a moment in a game where it would be a cinematic moment where obviously you're pressing x or circle to hit back and forth between different dialogues and stuff like that so i just feel like the way that they are presenting this game to us makes it feel really really authentic and i'm super excited for the future of this show now as for the future of my coverage on this show if you guys enjoy this reaction and like it let me know in the comments down below by dropping a like whatever you want to do to let me know to make more of these reactions Reactions for the weekly episodes of The Last of Us. Now, if you guys do want more of these reactions, I'll have one next up next week on the third or the, for the third episode. But for the fourth episode, I won't have one since I will be out of town. But after that, episode five, six, seven, eight, and even nine, I'll have episode reactions. And after the season is over, I'll also probably do a full season review with one of my friends that watches the show as well. And so I'm super excited for the future of this show because again, this episode was also absolutely fantastic phenomenal so again very excited to see what they do with the future of this show and let me know you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below and come back next week so if you guys like this video i'll make sure to do a review or a reaction to episode three thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace